Hi guys, welcome back to Govee's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be helping with your journey on becoming the best full stack developer by providing you the perfect roadmap that you'll ever need. For becoming a best full stack developer, you will need to learn both the front end and back end technologies and also to understand databases and other relevant technologies are very very important. So we'll get into the video. But before we start, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. So first you'll start with the basic understanding of the web technologies where you will be learning about HTML5 which is used to structure a web page. And next you'll be learning about CSS3 which is used to style a web page and lastly JavaScript which is the programming language for web development. Next you'll get into the front end development where you'll be learning the advanced versions of the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And next you'll get into the version control where you'll learn how to use the git and lastly you must familiarize yourself with the design tools such as Adobe XD or Sketch. Next you'll get into the back end development where you'll have to choose a language for the server side such as Node.js, Java, Python, Ruby or even C#. -sharp. After that you'll learn about the databases which will include MySQL, PostgreSQL, MongoDB etc. Next you'll have to learn how to set up a server for example Nginx or Apache. Then you'll have to learn about the deployment for example Heroku, AWS and DigitalOcean. Lastly you have to understand how to create and consume the APIs such as RESTful or GraphQL. Next, you'll have to think about the full stack framework. If you have used JavaScript in the front end, you can use full stack frameworks such as Meme, which is nothing but MongoDB, ExpressJS, Angular, and Node.js, or Mun, which is again MongoDB, ExpressJS, React and Node.js. And for Python, Django and Flask are most popular choices. For Ruby, Ruby on Rails is the most commonly used framework. Next, you'll get into the database management where you'll be learning about the ORMs, which is nothing but objective relational mapping, like Mongoose, which can be MongoDB with Node.js, or SQLize which can be SQL with Node.js. Next, you'll get into authentication and authorization where you'll try to understand the user authentication and authorization mechanisms. After that, you'll get into web security where you'll learn about the basic security protocols such as HTTPS, data validation, encryption, etc. After this, you'll get into testing where you'll explore testing frameworks such as just for JavaScript, PyTest for Python, etc. Next is containerization and orchestration where you'll have to learn about docker for containerization and container orchestration tools such as kubernetes next is continuous integration or continuous deployment where you will have to implement the ci or cd pipelines for automated testing and deployment next you'll try to understand the web servers where you will try to understand how it works and how to optimize it for better performance next you'll get into soft skills where you will have to improve your communication and team skills also keep yourself updated with the industry trends and best practices after which you'll have to create your own portfolio with personal projects. Either you can contribute to other open source projects or create your own. Lastly, learning never stops and neither should you. So keep learning, be curious and stay on top of the industry trends and best practices. Lastly, my secret and additional tip would be to join developer communities such as Stack Overflow, GitHub and Reddit. Attend meetups, conferences and webinars to network with the right people. Remember the technology landscape keeps evolving. So adaptability and continuous learning is what is going to set you apart from the other developers and help you becoming the best full stack developer. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to Gooey.